Hey everybody, welcome to, welcome back to Ugger Speed Shop. So we have a cruise night coming up in Cordell that I want to go to and take the Firebird. But there's a few things that need to be done before I can do that. It's mechanically sound, it's, we can drive it no problem. But there's a bunch of little things I want to do, like uh, seal up that that inner fender well, inner uh, wheel well, as far as like getting it welded fully in there, because this is all, this all stems from when I did the tubs and the Goodmark outer tubs didn't fit right. And I had to cut them back out in order to make the fender fit or the quarter panel fit. So I got the uh, AMD one and it fit perfect. So, but I had to go in there and modify the mini tub to make it fit. So got to seal that up, get some seam seal on some other areas. Um, put some paint on this. I'll probably just paint it for now and then go back to it. Um, but I want to get the inside sealed up. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so one of the other things I needed to do to get ready for the cruise is put the hood on. And I didn't get a chance to film it because my son's friend is cross-country tripping right now. That didn't sound good. He's driving from South Carolina to San Diego, stopped by, and he helped me put it on. But needs to be adjusted, so we're gonna adjust that, get that in there, and uh, hopefully get it as close as we can. So let's do it. All right, so we got it mostly adjusted. It's still a little bit high in the spots, but lines up pretty good in the front. A little bit bigger gap over here, but we got a, a lot of adjustments that needs to be done. I'm not gonna sit there and make you watch all that, but she's on, she latches. So we should be good enough for a cruise night on Saturday. All right, we're gonna get to some welding back there on that uh, mini tub and get that thing sealed up. So let's do it. All right, so we got some uh, holes sealed up over there. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, take some seam sealer and put it around that, uh, the edges around here to get that sealed up on both sides. Um, grind down some of those welds to make them look a little better because the welder is not happy with the heat and the uh, wind right now. So just one of those things I gotta deal with. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning stuff up, get it ready for seam sealing. All right, so it's Wednesday now and I'm gonna get into a uh, because it's been hot lately. I'm getting to clean up those welds over there. So that's gonna be the next step and get ready for the cruise on Saturday. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we got that cleaned up over there now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, vacuum and then uh, clean everything up. Then we're gonna get uh, some paint on that. So, cause when you put the seam sealer on it, they say to have paint. So I'm gonna put some paint on it. And uh, so let's get it cleaned up. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a bit. Um, shouldn't take too long considering it's uh, 100 degrees in the shop now. So yeah, so it should dry pretty quick and then we'll get out here and we'll get some seam sealer on those areas. So let's take a break and go inside and cool off for All a little right, bit. It's time to put some seam sealer in some of the holes around here. So the stuff I use is the black. It's from Transstar, it's 4167. You can order this through O'Reilly's. They don't usually have it in stock. 
but uh, you can order it. So that's the part number, 4167. And it's the black. So I like the black better than the white or the gray. So let's get this done. All right, so we got that part done. We got seam sealed now. See it there, some over there. I probably need to do some of the trunk area. I might come back to that. I just see I missed a spot for painting. But we got the seam sealer on there that I wanted to get on there, so we're good on that part. Oh, by the way, this thing was not working very good. It pushed for a little bit and it gets stuck. The stupid handle is locking up. And yes, I know it's the cheapest one you can buy at wherever place I got it, probably Home Depot or Ace or something. But yeah, it is what it is on that one. So like I said, we got the seam sealer on there now. Should be dry by morning because it's pretty warm still. And I'm getting the stuff all over my phone. But anyways, we got that part done. So I'm gonna get some paint and touch up that area back there and call it a night. All right, so we got the interior all seam sealed now. So the next thing I think I'm gonna do is get this carpet in there. The only difference is because I, if you've been following me for a while, you saw that I modified the transmission tunnel to fit the uh, T56 in there when I put it in there. And it helped, actually helped with the T5 or the TKO, T, uh, the Tremec TKO five speed as well. So let's see if that, how much we gotta modify this to fit. And yeah, I know it looks like crap, but it was a takeout of a customer's car and it was free, so. It's better than nothing, so let's get it, uh, let's get going on that. All right, so we got the carpet back in now. It's not fully in yet. I'm gonna put a, looks like it'll work with the tunnel the way it is, which is good. It might come short over here for the uh, for the uh, rocker covers, but other than that, it fits pretty good. Once I get the seat brackets in there, it'll be held in place. Um, I'll just button down the uh, that cover right there, the rubber cover, which is actually out of my, one of the many fourth gens I've owned over the years. It's the actual six speed uh, transmission uh, tunnel cover for a, for a shifter. I can't talk, sorry, it's hot. But you see it's over hundred degrees in the shop right now. But yeah, I'm just trying to catch my breath after doing all that because it's really hot. I gotta stop saying that, but anyways, carpet's in. Gotta put the seat tracks back on or seat racks, seat mounts back on and that part will be done. All right, so we got the carpet in now. So let's go ahead and get the uh, seat mounts back in. All right, seat frames are back in. That's pretty simple. Um, so I'm not gonna put the seats in yet because I think I'm debating on whether to put the, the interior in, in the back or not. I don't know if I'm going to do that for the cruise on Saturday, but I think I do want to do the center console and that'll be easier with the seats out and because I got to find holes for where that thing mounts to. So maybe we'll move into that now. All right, so I think the next thing I'm going to put on are these, uh, I can't think of what they're called, but they're the rocker covers. So um, I cleaned this one up a little bit. They're pretty bad. They're original. You see that got pretty, some pretty good pitting on them, but that's fine. I'm just gonna stick them on there just so they're on. And just a, a quick note, this will be the first time I've ever had them on the car. I can't remember if they were on there when I got it or if they were in the trunk with all the rest of the parts that were with it, so. But they're gonna go on. Right, so I got those panels back on. Um, 
I'm definitely not gonna be putting the rear rear uh, interior in because I don't have this piece right here to cover that. And I don't want to flap it in the wind because I'm gonna be running two windows or all, you know, two by 70 air conditioning because I have to have the windows down. And I don't want that ruining the uh, original interior. So this side came out all right. They got most of the carpet tucked in. There's a couple places where it didn't, but it's because it's just it's not gonna stretch far enough. But uh, you see on this side, this carpet doesn't quite reach over far enough, but at least that part's on now. So now I can uh, concentrate on the center right, console. So I think it's a good time to get the center console back in. Uh, it's probably gonna be a pain in the butt because of trying to find the holes through the carpet. I made new holes, but it doesn't mean it's gonna be any easier. I'm also gonna put the seat belts back in too. So let's get to it. So it's Friday morning and it's already a 95 degrees in the shop. But I remembered one thing from when I was working on the four link on the Firebird is one of the, or the axle seals are actually uh, bad. Well, not, they're not bad, bad. They were fairly new. I've been selling them five years ago, but I noticed that when the spring, uh, the inner spring on the, on the seal was out, was off of it and damaged. So I gotta replace that. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so that was a little wasted effort there because that wheel seal I got was the wrong one, or the axle seal that I got from O'Reilly this morning was the wrong one. I knew it was too good to be true for it to actually be in stock. But uh, it's not leaking bad enough to worry about it. So I'm still gonna take it to cruise night tomorrow. Um, a few things I got buttoned up today, some things tomorrow, I'll probably put the seat in tomorrow. Um, check fluids, torque bolts, all that good stuff. So. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go in the house because it's a little bit hot and I'm gonna cool off a little bit because it's over 100 degrees in here right now. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cool off a little bit before we uh, get back so to it. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get the car back up a little bit higher so I can get under it. There's a couple screws from the center console I need to cut so they don't hit the uh, dry shaft. And I'll show you that once I get it jacked up and get under there. But uh, that I wanna make sure the bolts for the suspension are good because it's all pretty new. I want to make sure that doesn't fall off, obviously. Um, and then check the diff fluid, check the transmission fluid. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do here real quick. Let's say hi, Dick. How do you like this heat? Yeah, it's 110 in the shop right now. All right, so just real quick, I'm up under the car. And if you look way up inside there, see that little screw sticking out? I just cut that off and cut that one off so it doesn't hit the drive shaft that goes to the center console and it's not focusing real well right now but there goes the center console uh, mount so I just want to make sure that was not anywhere near the drive shaft I mean it's on its weight right now so it's not like it's gonna bounce down to that point but just want to make sure that was done and now I'm gonna check the diff fluid make sure we got fluid in there so I don't think we've lost a whole lot even through the bad seal on the side on the uh, axle seals but uh yeah, we're gonna check that real quick and then uh, probably jack up the front a little bit so I can get to the transmission and check the fluid level on that too, just to be sure I'll put her there. All right, so in case you're wondering how to check the diff fluid on a BOP, that's Buick Olds Pontiac. There's a, I can't get to the focus. It, won't, it just won't focus over here. Uh, there's that uh, drain plug right there or a fill plug, actually, I should say. And for the transmission, for a Tremec, you got your drain plug on the bottom and your fill plug at the top, or in the middle right here. I pulled them both out and they started pouring out a little bit of fluid, so that means they're perfectly full. 
So we are good to go for those. Now check the oil. I mean, I just did an oil change on not that long ago. So check the oil on it too. Um, check coolant, which shouldn't be low for any reason. And uh, yeah, so that part's gonna be done. Get the wheels back on it. Tomorrow I'll get the seat in it and uh, put some gas in it. We should be good to go. All right, it's Saturday morning, the morning of the cruise. And I found out today that it's actually not starting until eight because today is also the hometown celebration for July 4th for Cordell. And it's going from four to nine, but I don't want to go to that, it's too hot during the day to go to something like that for me. But, so that means I probably won't leave here till like seven o'clock tonight. And, uh, cause the cruise don't start till eight. So, but another really good thing about that, that means there'll probably be a lot more cars there because it's a celebration. I think there's a car show at the celebration as well. All right, so actually after having it up on the jack stands yesterday, I want to go ahead and check the power steering fluid just to be sure I didn't lose any enough to worry about it. And there's some on the dipstick and I can see some down inside the there. So should be good on that. I'll check it again once I fire it up and uh, go again. But so that's good. I gotta check the oil. That's the only thing left. I'll check the coolant too, but there shouldn't be any low. I haven't lost any, so it should be good. Um, seat to put, put in, torque the wheels and clean her up for the night. All right, so I cleaned her up as best as I can with uh, what I have here. Um, just wiped her down, put a little bit of, uh, uh, what's that stuff called? The, this stuff here, quick detailer, but I basically just dusted it off cause this doesn't really have any shine to it and it won't for a long time. So the next thing I'm going to do is torque the wheels. I don't remember the last time I had the front wheels off of this thing, but <clears throat> I don't remember it being after the last time I drove it. So it's a good thing I decided to check the torque on them because this one was really loose. And this one over here, three out of the five lug nuts were not torqued down properly. So I don't know if I had the wheels off at some point doing something, but I don't remember doing it. And yeah, so it's a good thing I did because I think I have driven it and not had the wheels off since then. So yeah, always check the torque on your wheels. All right, so I got the interior cleaned up now too. As far as uh, the center console, I wiped it down. The dash is wiped down. Um, I went in, I fixed this. So now it's closes better. Um, I took all the wires for the sniper and tied, tied them up underneath and tied them up so they ain't gonna fall down again. Uh, I gotta fix that wire over there so it's not dangling down by my feet. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, for that prep. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put my package tray cover with my speaker covers on just to show them off. And because I, I wanna show off the work that my buddy Bryant did. So I'm gonna put those in there today too. So yeah, that means the imitation Grogu's gotta go away. At least uh, move to somewhere else. All right, so we got her all buttoned up. All fluids checked, tires checked. Seats are in, everything's good to go. So next step will be uh, heading out to Cordell for the cruise night at around eight o'clock. It is six o'clock right now. So we're gonna wait till uh, it's almost dark. So that way, it ain't as hot when we get to when we're going. But it's gonna be a warm ride, that's for sure. But uh, I'll tune back in once we get there. Well, if you saw my short from last night, you know we didn't make it to the cruise. So no footage of that because I lost an injector on my sniper. So on that note, we're gonna end this video here and then we're gonna go into troubleshooting the injection on the sniper. So hopefully it's just a plug, but if not, I'm gonna have to order a new injector from something like I did for the other one. So uh, if you like this video, leave a like down there, leave me a comment, let me know what I can do, what I can do better, and uh, subscribe while you're at it. So until next time, I will see y'all later.